Hey everybody, it's Greg McDaniel with the McDaniel Callahan Real Estate Team. You know what, today we're gonna to talk about 10 tips on how to get out of a funk and back in your groove. Before we get started, guys, I'm gonna point you out a few things on our blog here. If you're thinking about buying a home, press this link. If you're thinking about selling a home, press this link. Now back to our topic. Okay, guys, I want to talk to you about 10 things that are going to help you get out of a funk and get back in your groove. Now, these things are going to go pretty quickly here, and I want you guys to reach out and talk to me and reach out and call us here if you have any additional questions. But these have personally helped me in my down times, so I want to share them with you. So, number one, to get off your couch, guys, you have to go ask yourself if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Once you make that mental decision that you've decided that you're not going to put up with, with what you have been putting up with, that is your first step. Now, you guys also, what you need to do is you need to start journaling. You need to start understanding who you are, where you want to go. What do you stand for? You know, and what do you need to change? Guys, between these two things called ears is a very clouded and crowded and messy place where things get lost. Put it down on paper. Clarity is the key to success. The next one, guys, here, make a list of the top 10 things that you love to do. Really the right amount there. It's going to bring you a lot of joy. You're going to have fun doing it, and you're going to, you're going to set up a, an idea and a time for to start doing a few of them because it's going to start putting a smile on your face. Okay, guys, next, we're going to commit to an hour of working out before 12 noon. What it does is it gets your endorphins going, it gets your brain moving, it gets your body pumping, it gets you in a better mood. So get up there, start working out, start working out in both your body and your brain. It's going to do wonders for your mindset. Next, guys, I want you to write down a list of five things that scare you the most. Now, Greg, why in the heck am I going to write down a list of things that, that scare me the most? Because I want you to take the top three and I want you to go master them. Because once you, are, you, you face your fears, nothing will stand in your way. You will be empowered beyond, you, beyond belief more than you've ever seen before because now nothing can hold you back because you beat your top three fears. Okay, guys, next, I want you to go and write your vision and goals down. I want to see detailed goals, not I want a new car. It's I can't believe the incredible feeling I have when I'm in my brand new Mercedes with the windows down, going 95 down the freeway with the wind blowing in my hair with the brand new smell of leather in my nose and hearing the roar of the exhaust coming out the backside of that vehicle with the volume of the music turned all the way up to 100. That's going to give you a mental picture that your body and your subconscious mind is going to react with, guys. You have to write them down. Go to Pinterest. Create a dream board there for yourself. Start playing. Start seeing your future. You will start having fun doing this. Next, I want you to go find a mentor. Okay? Finding a mentor is an amazing thing. And they don't even have to be alive. I mean, you can go read from the greats in the different books. Go read from Albert Einstein. Go read from Abraham Lincoln. Go read from anyone else if you can't find someone in your personal life. Get a book on tape, guys. Get out there and find someone that inspires you. Uh, next one, guys, I want you to do something to give back. And, and you also to give to yourself as well. You know, it, it, I went to a food shelter and I boxed food boxes. It was the most rewarding thing I have ever done. And you know what? I am planning on doing it a lot more. I also, you guys see these shirts. These are custom shirts I buy for myself after every closing. It's just a little gift to myself just because it's something that I wanted. It's important to give you those little wins. You can get your big ones, but you also need little wins as well, guys. Um, you know, feed yourself with positive things you know your mind is like is a muscle as well you need to grow your mind go to youtube go to podcasts go to books go to audiobooks whatever it is feed yourself with positive information give the positive vibes because that is going to emanate from you out to the rest of the world and people are going to be attracted to that positive feeling Last but not least, guys, I need you to start charting this stuff. If it, every single night, write down what's working and what's not, eliminate what's not, and double down what is. As you guys know, my name is Greg McDaniel. I'm with the McDaniel Callahan Real Estate Team, and if you have any other questions about this or you just like to call me, give us a ring, guys. I look forward to talking with you, and thank you so much for watching the video.